Enough chatter about all the practices and the line rushes. We've got ourselves a preseason game tonight. Hi, everybody. James Sabolski and Ray Ferraro ready to call the action. You know, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening face-off. The Flames take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. And it takes a shot, denied by the goaltender. The Flames play the puck from the back of the net. Oh, it uses the blocker to stop that one. Nice save by Benicek. And with the delay penalty called, they get the extra attacker out here on the ice. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Hannafin. Puts it to the front of the net. Whoa. He scores! They quickly take advantage of a team that fell back on their heels. It's like they lost their energy for a moment, knowing they were going to be penalized. And it proved costly. The Flames with about as perfect a road start you can get here, Ray. But they came out and wanted to be aggressive, sure. But you never really think you're going to get on the board this quickly. Monahan's won the draw. Calgary's got the puck against the half wall. Gives them nothing in front. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good here. They get a good chance on goal, but not to be. And now he angles it across to Everly. Seattle's moving it up the ice. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Hannafin certainly in a confident state here. His point streak's extending, and he wants to keep it going. Lots of time left in this period. Calgary's ahead, 1-0. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. From the slot, misses over the net. He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. And that's turned aside by Lindgren. Doesn't look like much, but the defensemen are helped out by this puck being in the corner. Stopped by the goaltender. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. No bad timing, James, to take a penalty. I mean, there's no real great timing, but a one-goal lead is not the time. Seattle's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. You never know when your opportunities are going to show up here to tie the game. Well, I don't know if the power play can be any bigger of a chance than that. Man advantage is up. Both teams back to even strength. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Kachuk's known for trying just about anything to get pucks past goalies. His It's Tricky zone ability means he pulls up highlight reel attempts that people can't even execute in practice, guys. It's really something to see. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Calgary's got the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a shot. That's blocked. With the stop. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. The rookie's been a big part of this team, and the coach has gone to him here, James, because they have got nothing going on. It's been a flat, listless performance. Yeah, they've been absolutely lifeless out there. They need a shock or something to wake them up. Pitlick's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Calgary's got it, and they're on the attack. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Let's see what the officials are calling. You worked so hard to get back in the game. Now you have a stall. A penalty will really hamper your momentum. Kachuk's the player you need to expect the unexpected from, guys. His It's Tricky zone ability is that willingness to try highly skilled plays during games to score. Giordano's a steady defender who's known to join the rush. Those are two players I know I'm going to be keeping an eye on tonight. Let's see if one of them can give their team the upper hand. Guys, back to you. Gets it out of his own end. Takes the pass from the left wing. Moves it quickly over to Appleton. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Calgary's gained possession along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Trying to clear. 
And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, it's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Too much traffic in the lane. Susie's up at the box. The Flames fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Always frustrating for the power play when they go back to the bench and don't have anything to show for it. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Flames lead it 1-0. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Hannafin. Takes the feed. Quick feed to Perry. And now it's grabbed by Larson. Puck grabbed by Everlay. Seattle's ready to go on the attack. Shot, and he comes up with it. Moves the puck across to Pitlick. Into the offensive end now. Takes a shot. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Benicek. Calvary's got the puck against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Hannafin. Uses the boards with the bank pass. From the top of the offensive zone here. Made the save on the play. Picked up along the boards by Gord. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And he's going after him here. You can't do that to the Stars. Yeah, even if you think it's a clean hit, and I do, it doesn't matter. Somebody's coming after you. Down he goes, fairly one-sided, would you say? Yeah, I've been on the other side of that one side, and you're happy when it goes down to the ice because you know help is on the way. Story of my life in elementary school, Ray. Oh, that was a pretty good tilt. I would say the energy in the building's gonna sag a little bit here. Their guy didn't do so well. Did they find his tooth? I don't know if they did, but nevertheless, both teams lining up for the faceoff. Seattle's won it. Sends a pass over. On the attack along the boards. Here's a chance right in the slot. Puts one on net. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. And the puck's kicked free. The Flames will play it in their own end. Grabbed along the boards by Kachuk. And that pass can't connect. Seattle. Well, he's calling him out now. Kachuk's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. There's the whistle stopping the play and allow him to get off the ice and get a much-needed breather here. Late goings of this period. Calgary's up one zip. The Flames win possession here in the open ice. Moves the puck along the half wall. Drives to the sweet spot. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Nice pass. And the puck dies with the trapper save. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Tries to get the puck over to Kachuk. Inside the final minute of the first here. Gord's lugging the puck. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Tanev's got it against the boards. Here he is in front. That's blocked by Lindgren. Quick hands, not only does he get a glove on it, he catches it, which is hard to do. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Pitlick's won the faceoff. Slides the puck over. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. Both teams are back at center ice and we are ready to get period number two underway. The Flames win the draw here in the neutral zone. 
Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Here's the pass down low. Handles it along the blue line. And there's the save. Quick pass to Manjapani. Right in the slot, and they can't connect. Moves it to Tanev. And that's picked off. Nice zone entry on the left side. Cutting to the front of the net. Oh, that's a big time save. I think he got it with the toe. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Can't connect on the pass. The Kraken have possession along the boards. Broken up by Fleury. Picked up along the wall by Tanev. Seattle's on the attack. Now a quick pass to Fleury. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Puck scooped up by Everly. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Here's a short pass to Kachuk. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Tanev stick handling in his own zone. Puck picked up by Fleury. Takes the feed. Seattle's got it in their own zone. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 1-0 the score. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Larson's got it in the defensive end. Seattle's got the puck against the boards. And he slides it quickly to Larson. Handles the puck. Grabs it with the glove. Lindgren's going to elect for the face-off and maybe just a chance to play with the puck a little. Well, you get to feel it for sure, but he hasn't had much to do at all. His team's been in control as they lead this game. Nearing the midway mark of the period, the Flames have taken a 1-0 lead. Scooped up along the wall by Hannafin. Scores! And we are tied! They've been scratching around the edges of this game, and now they get it back to level. Really good maneuverability in a tight spot down by the net. He gets the pass, and he one-times that in from the low slot. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Great defensive effort with the stick. Moves it quickly over to Grabner. Steps inside the line. Great reach with the poke check. Seattle's got the puck against the boards. The Flames are in transition. Brownie's got the puck. Stays with it. Find some space in the corner. Quick feed to Pitlick. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Pass across to Everly. Calgary's got the puck. Seattle's got a hold of it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Perry. The Kraken have the puck on the attack. That's kicked away with the pad by Lindgren. Taken by Gord. Taken along the wall by Pitlick. Keeps hold of the puck. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Quick shot, and he makes the save. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Calgary's got a hold of it along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Everly. And now it's grabbed by Gord. Oh, what a great save by Lindgren. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied.
There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action next. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. The next goal will be a critical one as we are still tied, getting underway here in the third. Snaps it onto the net, stones him in front. Yeah, I hate it when I miss chances like this, James. You don't get many that are this quality. You want to put them away because you don't know when the next one's going to come. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Came up with the save on that play. Sends it ahead to Gore. Across the line and on the attack. Takes a shot. That's turned away with the pad by Lindgren. And that one's broken up. Quick pass to Kachuk. Here we go, on man rush. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. With possession along the wall. Poked away in the defensive end. Looks to set up at the point now. Slides the puck down low. And now he moves it quickly to Giordano. Jabs the puck away. Hannafin's got it behind his own net. Looks to get the puck over to Tanev. Monahan's gaining momentum. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Monahan's close to pulling off a great move there. Just denied in zone. To the front! Glove save. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. The setters will glide into the dot. Gord's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Takes the pass. Great read with the stick. Calgary's got the puck in the defensive end. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Things starting to get a little physical out there. Moves it to Gord. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Calgary's got control of it now from their own end. Moves the puck. The Flames carry it along the wall. The Kraken have the puck against the boards. Passes on over to Grabner. Takes it to the front. Turned aside with the glove by Lindgren. He makes the glove stop right from the slot. That's a dangerous chance. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We got a tie game. Seattle's won the faceoff. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Smothered that in close chance. The Flames take it across the line. Calgary's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Great poke check on the reach. Directed over to Pitlick. Into the offensive zone. Puts it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. The Flames played along the boards. And just like that, from out of nowhere, comes up with the puck. Oh, look at this chance. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Through center along the wing. Great forecheck by Henestroza. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Seattle's got it in their own zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Tries to feed it over to Pitlick. Here's a shot. Oh, right off the noggin. Thankfully, he had a mask on to make the save. You'd think with the amount of chances we've seen throughout this hockey game, there'd be goals all over the place. Certainly not been the case, James. The goaltending has been excellent, and the shooters just haven't been able to finish their chances. Past the midway mark in this period, 
You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And there's the buzzer. 60 minutes have been played, and we are still tied. Let's go to overtime, and we'll do that next here on EA Sports. Overtime is underway. Ferraro, next goal wins. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Harder you try, sometimes the worse it gets. Maybe just make the simple play, and you'll probably advance things a little better. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. And that one stopped. Larson's going to have to dig into the energy tank a little bit here. You lose a lot of energy in a fight, and even though he had five minutes to sit down and relax, you never really get back to feeling great. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Larson swooping in on the attack. And that carries off a stick. The Kraken have gained control of the puck along the wall. Seattle's got it from behind the net. Here's a chance! Picked up along the wall by Kachuk. The Flames will play it from the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Tanev. Puck grabbed by Zajac. Gaining momentum up along the side. Move to the middle! And just out of arm's reach on the play. Poked away by Kachuk. The Flames move to the offensive zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Kraken have the puck in their own end. Calgary's got a hold of the puck now. Into the attacking area from the left side. To his teammate! And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Pitlick's won the draw. The Kraken have taken control of the puck. Pass right back. Takes a shot. Glove save. Lindgren's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Blackwell's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Battling for it along the boards. Receives the pass. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Seattle's across the blue line. Game on his stick, and he keeps it alive. What a stop. Down to the final minute in overtime. And makes the save. Scooped up along the wall by Pitlick. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Nice zone entry from the right side. For the win. Oh, what a save to keep it tied. Anderson's got it along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Pitlick. For the win! Oh, and he missed! Blackwell's got the puck along the wing. They've got numbers! Here's a shot! Kicked away! Lindgren's gonna smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. A critical draw here. Better in the offensive zone. That goes off a twig. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. And there it is. The final horn for overtime, and we are still tied. Both teams will decide on who's shooting, and we'll take it to a shootout. That's something on that. It's amazing how many points are alive in a season. The goalie has to be good if you're going to collect some of them. And it scores! Great hands here. He fakes the goaltender, holds it with patience, and then finishes it off. He didn't even have to raise this, James. After he made the deke, he was able to slide it in the low part of the net. Here we go. Round two set to go. They need a big goal here. Scores! Oh, what a snipe! 
Didn't have much room. It looked like the goalie was in pretty good shape. But this one's in the back of the net. Oh, I like his patience. He gets it to the backhand and puts it in. Boards making his way to center ice with a chance to take the lead for his team. He's dialed in on that one. So quick across the net. Doesn't matter if you deke or shoot on him. He's really good at this. As the shootout rolls on here, here's an excellent opportunity to put his team ahead. Makes the stop. This is why they practice it, right, Ray? Yeah, keep it as uncomplicated as possible, and he makes a good save. Hinnestrosa has got a chance to be all that and a bag of chips if he can finish it. He scores! And what's the old expression? Winner, winner! Chicken dinner. Great shot. Seattle's got the win here in the shootout. Thought they would get it done in regulation, and when they didn't, it gets into this one-on-one -on -one contest. Oh, that's a really good shot. The goalie's down, and the puck goes up over top of him on the backhand. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us tonight. Back to the kid here for just a second. You know, we saw that moment during the broadcast where, you know, the coach was kind of on him and challenging him to just try to deliver. And I don't know if he ever really got a chance to sort of, you know, quote unquote, man up. And a couple of other the roster races that we've been focusing on, hey, it's been talked about to death. It started before camp, before the physicals for that matter. Can the rookie crack the roster? Can he make the team this youngster? A lot of anticipation. There's one game to go, and I'll tell you what, I would be shocked, I will be shocked if he's not on the opening night roster. He's been that good. He's been very good in my mind. I don't think this game is going to make a break based on the body of work that I've seen from him so far. Doesn't hurt if he plays well, 